Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will begin momentarily. I would like to take this opportunity to ask you to please find your seats and silence your cell phones. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer, Officer Training Command Newport, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Officer Candidate School Class 0620, consisting of 89 candidates. Guests are encouraged to take photographs from the viewing area at any time during the ceremony, except during the playing of the national anthem. The order of events for today's ceremony is as follows. At 10.30, Captain Nicholson, United States Navy, commanding officer of Officer Training Command Newport, and Vice Admiral Richard Snyder, the Navy Inspector General, guest of honor for today's ceremony, will arrive. Guests will be asked to rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and invocation. The commanding officer and guest of honor will then address the graduating class, and the class will receive the oath of office by the guest of honor. The graduates will then be recognized through the presentation of their commission by the commanding officer and guest of honor. Guests will be asked to rise for the playing of the service songs and the final dismissal. Again, allow me to emphasize that you are encouraged to take photographs at any time during the ceremony, with the exception of playing the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation. Officer Training Command, Newport, arriving. Navy Inspector General arriving.
Ladies and gentlemen, Chaplain Sutphin will now offer us the invocation. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we come to you in prayer as our first and highest duty, offering our grateful praise for your abundant goodness. Make us aware of your presence and be known among us as the author of strength, mercy, and joy. The character of Class 0620 has been established through suffering and toil. They have been tested and found worthy. May this be no transitory state. May they be known while they serve throughout their lives and long after for their consummate integrity. What they have gained in knowledge and physical strength match for them now in spiritual will to accomplish far greater things in service to the fleet, the nation, and the world. And may they always recall fondly their formative moments on these grounds. Bless each member of this class team by the measure of what they have generously given. Let them be encouraged by the continued success of these new ensigns. Guide us to honor those united in applause today and the many more they represent who were active in the course of events that led to this celebration. Faithfully, we offer these prayers to you, O God, our refuge and shield. Bless those who go forth to stand the watch. May all here gathered find ourselves daily restored, confirmed, strengthened, and established by your mighty hand. In your holy name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Mark Nicholson, Commanding Officer of Officer Training Command, Newport. Vice Admiral Snyder, Captains, Colonels, Distinguished Guests, family members and friends, most importantly, soon to be commissioned ensigns of class 0620. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Newport and this morning's graduation ceremony. I'd like to start off by formally thanking and recognizing the members of Navy Band Northeast. Your patriotic music inspires us all and I truly thank you all for being here this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing Navy Band Northeast. It's my sincere honor and privilege to be with all of you this morning, to recognize and celebrate the achievement of these 89 young men and women sitting in front of me. America's very best and brightest, as they are commissioned as the newest ensigns in the United States Navy. For the families, I want to thank you not only for making the long trip to be here this morning, but for the outstanding performance of your sons and daughters, husbands and wives, brothers and sisters. Your love and support have helped produce the quality individuals seated here and enabled our outstanding team of recruit division commanders, drill instructors, and class officers to further develop them morally, mentally, and physically into future leaders of character and competence. On behalf of the Navy and on behalf of a grateful nation, thank you for your efforts. For Class 0620, the profession of Naval officers, much like the medical and law professions, requires its members to take an oath. A few minutes, your parents, spouses, and loved ones, along with the OTC staff and myself, will bear witness as you raise your right hand and swear a sacred oath to support and defend the Constitution. This oath carries far more obligations than privileges. It carries the obligation to serve in the most trusted institution in America. According to Gallup polls that stretch back for more than a decade, the American people trust the military more than any other institution. A list that includes Supreme Court, Congress, organized religion, police, public schools, our medical system, and our criminal justice system. It is up to you to maintain this trust. 
As George Washington once stated in an address to the officers of the Virginia Regiment, remember that it is the actions and not the commission that make the officer, and that there is more expected from him, him or her than the title. As an officer, you will lead and mentor what is truly one of our most valuable national assets, the enlisted men and women of our Navy. The American people are trusting you, trusting you to care for and lead them in defending our Constitution. I challenge you to maintain and build upon the American people's trust through your actions as a naval officer. I'm extremely proud of the effort you've expended over the last couple of months. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome each and every single one of you into the war dream of the world's greatest Navy. I have another honor and privilege this morning, that of introducing our guest speaker, Vice Admiral Rick Snyder. His full bio can be found in your programs, but I'll hit a few highlights. Admiral Snyder was commissioned via the Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps program at Tulane University with a degree in management. He holds a master's degree in operations research from the Naval Postgraduate School and is a career naval aviator. He's commanded at all levels, including helicopter, anti-submarine squadron light 46, HSL 40, USS Bataan, and Expeditionary Strike Group 2. Previously, Vice Admiral Snyder was a director for strategy, plans, and policy at U.S. Northern Command and North American Aerospace Defense Command. Currently, he serves as the 41st Naval Inspector General, where he's charged with inspecting, investigating, and inquiring to any and all matters of importance to the Department of the Navy maintaining the highest level of public confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming this morning's guest speaker, Vice Admiral Rick Snyder. Well, good morning. Aren't you guys going to say it back? One. There we go. That's the highlight of coming here, is to get to hear that. You know, we get stuck up there in Washington dealing with our issues and uh, the opportunity to come down and, and hear from these young men and women uh, about to be ensigns is just, a, is just a highlight. Also to be remiss in saying Happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully that's not a surprise to anybody uh, and you remembered that beforehand, but uh, what a great opportunity. Uh, and so, so thank you for letting me be here today uh, and welcome everyone. It's an honor to be here recognizing the culmination of at least 12 weeks of dedication, hard work, and accomplishments by these candidates, soon to be the Navy's newest ensigns. So my bio gives it away. Simple math will reveal that almost 37 years ago, I sat figuratively where you are today, embarking what I thought would be a six or seven year stint in the Navy. Sometimes things don't turn out exactly as you planned. And those decades have been filled with meaning, challenges, rewards, and adventures, more so than I could ever have imagined. And so now it's your turn. I do want to start off with some thank yous, Captain Nicholson, the band as well, the OCS staff, the class officers, Lieutenant Storm and Lieutenant uh, Bailsford, the class chiefs, Chief Thompson and Chief Abel, and the ever-present Gunny Dogner, Dogner. Thank you very much for your support uh, of these men and women. I also want to thank the family and friends in the audience, and most importantly you, the men and women who have chosen to serve our great nation and our great Navy. Make no mistake about it. You are commissioning into the greatest Navy in the world, and you will be a vital part of making sure that never changes. So rumor has it some folks get nervous when the Inspector General shows up. Uh, don't be, uh, unless you've done something wrong. As you heard, the mission of the Office of the Naval Inspector General is to inquire, investigate, and inspect into all matters of importance to the Department of the Navy. To that end, we're partners in warfighting readiness and warfighter quality of service. When I assumed this position, I had several folks tell me it would be unlike anything I'd ever done before, and I believed them for about two weeks. Then I realized that the Inspector General business of identifying standards, assessing performance to those standards, making changes to meet standards to ultimately make the Navy better is something I've done my entire career. And guess what? It's something you'll be doing as well as a successful leader in the Navy. How well you do IG business from day one of your career will be a measure of how well you do in the Navy. So welcome to the Navy Wardroom, and welcome to the Navy IG team. The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Gilday, recently provided a design for maintaining maritime superiority. In it, he directs our focus towards warfighting, warfighters, and the future Navy. He tells us that mission one for every sailor is the operational readiness of today's Navy. 
So why should the Navy's newest ensigns pay attention to the Chief of Naval Operations' strategic guidance? Because you have a role in executing that design. War fighting. Your very first mission after leaving here today is to become the very best in your warfare specialty. In doing so, you will directly strengthen our warfighting ability and increase our operational readiness. War fighters. Our sailors are our asymmetric advantage. You are our asymmetric advantage. You and your sailors must embody our core values, honor, courage, and commitment, and our four core attributes, integrity, accountability, initiative, and toughness. As a leader, you must set the example, and these values and core attributes must guide your every action and every decision. The future Navy, you are the future Navy. The only thing certain about the future is uncertainty. There have been a lot of changes for the Navy since I first put on a uniform, but sometimes the more things change, the more they stay the same. Forty years ago, we were in great power competition with the Soviet Union, a potential adversary who could challenge us and our dominance at sea. We needed to be ready to take on a powerful adversary at sea, anytime, anywhere. Then things changed. The Soviet Union fell, dictators threatened and invaded their neighbors, terrorists attacked our country, and our focus as a Navy shifted to a different threat, a dangerous one, but not a great power, and not one that could seriously challenge us on the seas. Well, great power competition is back, and we must be ready again to take on an adversary at sea, anytime, and anywhere. Whatever it is that you've signed up to do for our Navy, each and every one of you must be a warfighter. Our nation and our Navy are counting on you. So what's the key to success? Decades ago, I too had a commissioning speaker, and to be honest with you, I couldn't tell you a word he said. So I'll make it easy for you. Remember just one word, care. Care about your sailors, care about yourself, care about your command, care about your mission care about your family, care about the Navy, and care about the nation. You're going to make mistakes, and it will be hard at times. But if you care, if you truly care, if you learn from your mistakes and move on, if you work hard and persevere, you will succeed. In a few minutes, you'll be taking an oath of office, as was mentioned. It's something almost none of your friends will ever do. And that oath is important because it's not to a person, to a place, or to a thing. It's to an ideal. It's to the Constitution of the United States. And so as we raise our right hand and swear to protect and defend that Constitution, remember that obligation and privilege you've been given. And once again, thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Congratulations to each and every one of you. The graduating class will now receive the oath of office. Would all military personnel in uniform please come to the position of attention? Class 0620, raise your right hand. I state your full name. Having been appointed an ensign in the United States Navy. Do hereby accept such appointment and do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without reservation or purpose of evasion, that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The graduates assembled will now be recognized by the commanding officer and guest of honor for their achievements while undergoing training here at Officer Training Command Newport. Ensign Azanera, 
Ensign Azanera has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Azanera is a graduate of the University of Connecticut. Ensign Botris. Ensign Botris has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Botris is a graduate of Texas State University. Ensign Blow. Ensign Blow has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Blow is a graduate of Virginia Commonwealth University. Ensign Brazos. Ensign Brazos has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Brazos is a graduate of Lakeview College of Nursing. Ensign Brown. Ensign Brown has been designated a cryptologic warfare officer and will be assigned to cryptologic warfare group six in Fort Meade, Maryland. Ensign Brown is a graduate of American University. Ensign Cabell. Ensign Cabell has been designated an oceanography officer and will be assigned to Naval Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Cabell is a graduate of Coastal Carolina University. Ensign Capuzzi. Ensign Capuzzi has been designated a cryptologic warfare officer and will be assigned to cryptologic warfare group six in Fort Meade, Maryland. Ensign Capuzzi is a graduate of Michigan State University. Ensign Chall. Ensign Chall has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Chall is a graduate of the University of Central Florida. Ensign Chastain. Ensign Chastain has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Chastain is a graduate of Auburn University. Ensign P Cruz Pinon. Ensign Cruz Pinon has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Cruz Pinon is a graduate of the University of Mary Hardin Baylor. Ensign Deguvea. Ensign Deguvea has been designated a cryptologic warfare officer and will be assigned to the Cryptologic Warfare Group 6 in Fort Meade, Maryland. Ensign Deguvea is a graduate of the University of Rhode Island. Ensign Erickson. Ensign Erickson has been designated a Supply Corps officer and will be assigned to Supply Corps School in Newport, Rhode Island. Ensign Erickson is a graduate of the University of, o of Iowa. Ensign Farlin. Ensign Farlin has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Germantown LSD-42 in Sasebo, Japan. Ensign Farlin is a graduate of St. John's University. Ensign Felscher. Ensign Felscher has been designated a Student Naval Flight Officer and will be assigned to Aviation Pre-Flight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Felscher is a graduate of Louisiana State University. Ensign Fisher. Ensign Fisher has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Pre-Flight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Fisher is a graduate of the University of Notre Dame. Ensign Flannery. Ensign Flannery has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS America LHA-6 in Sasebo, Japan. Ensign Flannery is a graduate of Mary Baldwin College. Ensign Freeze. Ensign Freeze has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Pre-Flight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Freeze is a graduate of the University of South Carolina. Ensign Gersbach. Ensign Gersbach has been designated a Student Naval Flight Officer and will be assigned to Aviation Pre-Flight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Gersbach is a graduate of Oregon State University. Ensign Gibson. Ensign Gibson has been designated a Student Naval Flight Officer and will be assigned to Aviation Pre-Flight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Gibson is a graduate of the University of San Diego. Ensign Gottlieb. Ensign Gottlieb has been designated a Civil Engineer Corps Officer and will be assigned to the Civil Engineer Corps Officer School in Port Wyneme, California. Ensign Gottlieb is a graduate of Old Dominion University. Ensign Green. Ensign Green has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Comstock LSD-45 in San Diego, California. Ensign Green is a graduate of Metro State University. 
Ensign Gresset. Ensign Gresset has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Gresset is a graduate of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Ensign Grulick. Ensign Grulick has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Grulick is a graduate of Indiana University. Ensign Hildenbrand. Ensign Hildenbrand has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Ross DDG-71 in Rota, Spain. Ensign Hildenbrand is a graduate of the University of Central Florida. Ensign Holtz. Ensign Holtz has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Chafee DDG-90 in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Ensign Holtz is a graduate of the University of California, Irvine. Ensign Hopkins. Ensign Hopkins has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Hopkins is a graduate of Jacksonville University. Ensign Isaacs. Ensign Isaacs has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Isaacs is a graduate of Oklahoma State University. Ensign Cook. Ensign Cook has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Cook is a graduate of the University of Utah. Ensign Marcia. Ensign Marcia has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Marcia is a graduate of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Ensign Mailer. Ensign Mailer has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Mailer is a graduate of Farmingdale State University. Ensign Mullins. Ensign Mullins has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Mullins is a graduate of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Ensign Peters. Ensign Peters has been designated a nuclear submarine officer and will be assigned a nuclear power school in Charleston, South Carolina. Ensign Peters is a graduate of the University of Pittsburgh. Ensign Ross. Ensign Ross has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS San Jacinto CG-56 in Norfolk, Virginia. Ensign Ross is a graduate of Regent University. Ensign Schroeder. Ensign Schroeder has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Michael Murphy DDG-112 in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Ensign Schroeder is a graduate of Ohio University. Ensign Song. Ensign Song has been designated an information professional and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Song is a graduate of the University of Texas at Austin. Ensign Strelke. Ensign Strelke has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Strelke is a graduate of Baylor University. Ensign Stukenborg. Ensign Stukenborg has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Stukenborg is a graduate of the University of Central Arkansas. Ensign Tempe. Ensign Tempe has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Tempe is a graduate of the University of Arizona. Ensign Venix. Ensign Venix has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Venix is a graduate of Middle Tennessee State University. Ensign Wong. Ensign Wong has been designated a Supply Corps officer and will be assigned to the Navy Supply Corps School in Newport, Rhode Island. Ensign Wong is a graduate of Excelsior College. Ensign Wenzel. Ensign Wenzel has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Pre-Flight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Wenzel is a graduate of George Mason University. Ensign Willison. Ensign Willison has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Willison is a graduate of Ball State University. 
Ensign Wolford. Ensign Wolford has been designated an intelligence officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Wolford is a graduate of American University. Ensign Young. Ensign Young has been designated an, a cryptologic warfare officer and will be assigned to the Naval Information Operations Command in Augusta, Georgia. Ensign Young is a graduate of the College of William and Mary. Ensign Adolph. Ensign Adolph has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation preflight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Adolph is a graduate of Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Ensign Baird. Ensign Baird has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Winston Churchill DDG-81 in Norfolk, Virginia. Ensign Baird is a graduate of Excelsior College. Ensign Bombard. Ensign Bombard has been designated an intelligence officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Bombard is a graduate of American Military University. Ensign Bowes. Ensign Bowes has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Porter DDG-78 in Rota, Spain. Ensign Bowes is a graduate of Texas A&M University, Texarkana. Ensign Brooks. Ensign Brooks has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Bulkley DDG-84 in Norfolk, Virginia. Ensign Brooks is a graduate of Shadron State College. Ensign Brown. Ensign Brown has been designated an information professional and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Brown is a graduate of Excelsior College. Ensign Buckley. Ensign Buckley has been designated an intelligence officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Buckley is a graduate of Lynn University. Ensign Conklin. Ensign Conklin has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Conklin is a graduate of the University of Iowa. Ensign Yee. Ensign Yee has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Cole DDG-67 in Norfolk, Virginia. Ensign Yee is a graduate of Southern New Hampshire University. Ensign Cox. Ensign Cox has been designated an intelligence officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Cox is a graduate of Mississippi State University. Ensign Chrysosimo. Ensign Chrysosimo has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Somerset LPD-25 in San Diego, California. Ensign Chrysosimo is a graduate of Arizona State University. Ensign Cruz. Ensign Cruz has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Barry DDG-52 in Yokosuka, Japan. Ensign Cruz is a graduate of Virginia Commonwealth University. Ensign Dedechkin. Ensign Dedechkin has been designated a surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Barry DDG-52 in Yokosuka, Japan. Ensign Dedechkin is a graduate of Sacramento State University. Ensign Dullum. Ensign Dullum has been designated an oceanography officer and will be assigned to the Naval Information Warfare Training Command in Damneck, Virginia. Ensign Dullum is a graduate of the University of Florida. Ensign Estes. Ensign Estes has been designated a Civil, Civil Engineer Corps officer and will be assigned to the Civil Engineer Corps Officer School in Port Wyneme, California. Ensign Estes is a graduate of the University of Kentucky. Ensign Green. Ensign Green has been designated an information professional and will be assigned to Information Warfare Training Command in Damneck, Virginia. Ensign Green is a graduate of the University of Maryland Global Campus. Ensign Johns. Ensign Johns has been designated a nuclear surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Gravely DDG-107 in Norfolk, Virginia. Ensign Johns is a graduate of Penn State University. Ensign Carvalho. Ensign Carvalho has been designated a student naval aviator 
and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Carvala is a graduate of North Carolina State University. Ensign Quito. Ensign Quito has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Russell DDG-59 in San Diego, California. Ensign Quito is a graduate of the University of Colorado, Boulder. Ensign Kim. Ensign Kim has been designated a Nuclear Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Stetham, DDG-63, in San Diego, California. Ensign Kim is a graduate of Stony Brook University. Ensign Koryath. Ensign Koryath has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Princeton, CG-59, in San Diego, California. Ensign Koryath is a graduate of Texas A&M University. Ensign Lee. Ensign Lee has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Lee is a graduate of the George Washington University. Ensign Lewis. Ensign Lewis has been designated an Intelligence Officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Lewis is a graduate of Cornell University. Ensign Marinelli. Ensign Marinelli has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation preflight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Marinelli is a graduate of Vanderbilt University. Ensign Mims. Ensign Mims has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation preflight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Mims is a graduate of East Carolina University. Ensign Pierce. Ensign Pierce has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Kearsarge LHD-3 in Norfolk, Virginia. Ensign Pierce is a graduate of Southern New Hampshire University. Ensign Purdy. Ensign Purdy has been designated a Student Naval Flight Officer and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Purdy is a graduate of the University of Oklahoma. Ensign Redman. Ensign Redman has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Fort McHenry LSD-43 in Mayport, Florida. Ensign Redman is a graduate of Baptist College of Florida. And it's Ensign Rennelt. Ensign Rennelt has been designated an Intelligence Officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Rennelt is a graduate of the University of Virginia. Ensign Riggins. Ensign Riggins has been designated a Cryptologic Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the Naval Information Operations Command in Augusta, Georgia. Ensign Riggins is a graduate of the University of South Florida. Ensign Rolf. Ensign Rolf has been designated an Intelligence Officer and will be assigned to the Information Warfare Training Command in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Ensign Rolf is a graduate of the George Washington University. Ensign Rumfelt. Ensign Rumfelt has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Rumfelt is a graduate of the University of Central Missouri. Ensign Sams. Ensign Sams has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Sams is a graduate of Clemson University. Ensign Sayuna Duncan. Ensign Sayuna Duncan has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Sayuna Duncan is a graduate of Colorado Mesa University. Ensign Sharda. Ensign Sharda has been designated a Student Naval Aviator and will be assigned to Aviation Preflight Indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Sharda is a graduate of Calvin University. Ensign Shepard. Ensign Shepard has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Tripoli LHA-7 in San Diego, California. Ensign Shepard is a graduate of Rowan University. Ensign Snell. Ensign Snell has been designated a Surface Warfare Officer and will be assigned to the USS Mobile Bay CG-53 
in San Diego, California, and since Snell is a graduate of San Diego State University. Ensign Thompson. Ensign Thompson has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Thompson is a graduate of McNeese State University. Ensign Trout. Ensign Trout has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight pre indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Trout is a graduate of Virginia Tech. Ensign Vu. Ensign Vu has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Vu is a graduate of Occidental College. Ensign Wagstaff. Ensign Wagstaff has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Wagstaff is a graduate of the George Washington University. Ensign Weimerskirch. Ensign Weimerskirch has been designated a student naval aviator and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign Weimerskirch is a graduate of the Georgia Institute of Technology. Ensign Yi. Ensign Yi has been designated a cryptologic warfare officer and will be assigned to the Naval Information Operations Command in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Ensign Yi is a graduate of the University of Hawaii. Ensign Zupa. Ensign Zupa has been designated a nuclear surface warfare officer and will be assigned to the USS Lake Champlain CG-57 in San Diego, California. Ensign Zupa is a graduate of Chapman University. Ensign County. Ensign County has been designated a student naval flight officer and will be assigned to aviation pre-flight indoctrination in Pensacola, Florida. Ensign County is a graduate of Texas A&M University. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the United States Navy's newest ensigns. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ple please rise for the playing of the service songs and the final dismissal. Please remain in your places until after the graduating class has taken their class photo. On behalf of the Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command, thank you for attending today's ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the graduation ceremony.